Hi, it's DeWire. It is February the 4th, 2020. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Wealthspinning.blogspot.com, a free site. Let's talk about some investment news. Let me correct a mistake I made in yesterday's video. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. In yesterday's video on cryptocurrency, I talked about some crypto I was invested in. Let me backtrack a little bit. I'm invested in, and this was the point of yesterday's video, I'm invested in cryptocurrencies that have a maximum supply. In other words, a limit on the amount of that cryptocurrency that can be created. So I consider myself to be invested, and this means hopefully for the long term, barring some unforeseen event. I'm invested in Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin is the play I believe in the most. I'm also invested in Dash. I'm also invested in Cardano, which has a maximum supply limit. And although I didn't mention this in yesterday's video, among other coins, I'm invested in Chainlink. Again, same thing, has a maximum supply. Now, I have an ownership interest in some other coins that I view as speculations. In other words, these are the coins where I have to check the price every day, right? I have to pay attention to things like the supply of the coin. Because these coins, some of them are doing well in the marketplace, but these coins don't have a maximum supply. They don't have the scarcity of the coins I've just mentioned. I don't care how well these coins are. Even though I have an ownership share in some of them, let's just say I'm not comfortable with it. I don't consider that a an investment. I consider it a speculation, right? Ethereum. I know right now it's flirting with all-time highs, right? I know there's some people out there who believe completely in Ethereum. But again, no maximum supply. It's what I call a speculation, right? I'm speculating in Ethereum. Polkadot. As I've said here online before, I'm staking Polkadot on Kraken right now. People interested in Polkadot should look at Kraken. You're getting 12%. Here's the problem. Polkadot doesn't have a maximum supply. The 12%, of course, is paid back to you in Polkadot. You have to make sure that that 12% is not illusory, that they aren't increasing the supply in such a way that whatever return you're getting is swamped. That's what's happening with the U.S. dollar. That's why the pension plans that are denominated in dollars are at risk in several states across the country. Right? You need to know the maximum supply of the coin. Otherwise, you're in the world of a fiat currency where the value of your holding can be debased by the decision-making of the people who decide how much is in circulation. You don't have that with Bitcoin, Dash, Cardano, or Chainlink, for example. Let's move out of the world of crypto. Let's talk about a new investment that I think people need to look at. Now, let me say this. Alphabet, right? has a market cap just a smidge under $1.4 trillion. Right now, let me just offer a different point of view here. I know uh, right now there's a bill in Congress to break up tech giants, right? That's one of the stupidest things I've heard in my life. I want all of us to understand that there's certain economies of scale 
The market isn't an American market, it is an international market. Google is competing with many international players. We're hurting ourselves if any time a tech company that's innovative, that's involved in things like artificial intelligence and autonomous vehicles, in addition to search, right? In addition to facilitating retail, in addition to, of course, GPS, Google Maps, all of that. It's shameful, quite frankly, that every time a tech company gains a certain gravitas, that politicians in Washington feel that they know better than the market and that they need to break up a company who's offering you free services. Right? How ridiculous is this? You're taking advantage of Google Maps in your car. You're not paying for it. Consider yourself blessed. The idea that some senator from Minnesota, let's just call it out, feels that you're getting ripped off somehow is just downright ridiculous. Well, just understand that the space that Google is in has competition, major competition, including competition from the company I'm about to mention here. I've mentioned them before. They were screaming by right now, and that's Baidu, right? B-A-I-D-U. The symbol is B-I-D-U. Their market cap isn't close to $1.4 trillion. Rather, this company, which is called the Google of China by many, has a market cap of $85.71 billion, right? Much smaller market cap, much smaller. Let me also say, 